Hi guys, it's Mia, and I am here with reasons to do ballet. So a lot of people are looking into ways to become more athletic, to get more fit. People of all ages and, you know, others want to get their kids into something that will keep them fit. Um, some participate in sports, some go to the gym and do workouts um, or other recreational activities. They'll walk their dog, they'll go skating. Um, but some people are wondering about doing ballet or a form of dance. This video is definitely specified with ballet instead of dance, but this really goes for the majority of dance. I would like to do like a quick disclaimer, um, some sort like as like a disclaimer before I start. A lot of people think that ballet ruins your feet. Um, it really it doesn't. That's just misinformed. Um, if you do it correctly, and this also you need like a good instructor, so definitely find a good instructor for this. But if you uh, do it all correctly, then you shouldn't have to worry about getting any injuries um, or ruining, permanently ruining your feet. Um, and the only way ballet might ruin your feet is if you dance in point, and if you dance in point a lot. Um, if you're just looking into doing ballet to like get some exercise, um, and say you're like in your mid-30s, you probably won't do point. And if you do decide to do point, it might be a year or so after you actually start ballet. Um, but when dancing in point, you should definitely be told ways to pull out of your shoes so that you don't damage your feet as badly or in the nerves and stuff. So if you do plan on dancing in point, ask an instructor, um, your instructor, to see if what they think, if you should begin it or wait. But that's just it, you know, that's just my disclaimer. Um, it doesn't ruin your feet or your joints even. If you do it all correctly, it really should make everything stronger. So my first reason is it is good exercise from bar to even the curtsies and bows at the end of class. You're constantly moving and constantly getting exercise and your heart rate is constantly up. So um, that's always something good. It's a form of physical activity. It takes a lot of exertion and um, it's, hard, it's very hard, you know. It's really hard once you start, but you get used to it eventually. Um, but it's very good physical activity. It increases the muscles in your body, um, especially in your legs, because you're using a lot of leg strength in ballet. But it also works on your abs and your arms, um, because when you balance, you need to use your abs for that. You use your arms constantly in ballet. So it definitely improves your muscles, and that also when you build muscle, you're getting rid of fat. So that's also, also another thing you need to think about. It increases your balance and your flexibility skills. You're constantly working on that in ballet class, um, you know, balancing in coupe or balancing in passe, doing splits. And when doing splits, I mean, you're like, everyone does splits. But um, even, like, when you do a leap and stuff, that's why you do splits, to make that leap bigger. And that requires flexibility. And, I mean, even I said when you balance an attitude, because attitude requires a lot of flexibility in your lower back a lot of muscle strength in your legs, um, it depends on how you get it, and um, it also, your balance, obviously if you're balancing um, demi point, so um, that's just a whole workout in one, balancing and attitude, I find. It helps your rhythm and your memory skills. This is something most people would not uh, think about really, but the more you do it, um, the better your rhythm, rhythm accuracy becomes, because you're moving to music and you're being, getting dances or bar routines and stuff choreographed to music. And if your company is anything like mine, you know, it's usually like our song for plies is not the same song every week. It's different. And usually our plie routine is different, which increases memory. Um, with this company, we usually, they teach us something like a couple, eight counts, and we need to perform it like right after that. Um, and so I've been dancing with them for about a year and a half now, and my memory has definitely increased. I'm able to remember stuff a lot easier um, than I was beforehand when it was shown to us like five times or we do something really simple. So I'm able to remember stuff a lot easier, and um, my rhythm, ryth rhythm, my rhythm accuracy. Um, I can't really tell you my personal experience just because I have been dancing my whole life and I've never had a problem with rhythm. Um, but rhythm, it's, rhythm accuracy will definitely be increased as well as your other one, that memory. It just feels discipline on you. In ballet, you know, you're taught something and you're expect to be, expected to be paying attention and then you are to perform it back or you are expected not to talk in class. So it's not really a laid back form of dance. Some dances are more laid back, but this is not a laid back form. 
the majority of the time. I mean, some teachers can be really mean. Mine, fortunately, is nice. But still, you know, she expects us to, when she's not in there and um, class is about to begin, she expects us to have the discipline to stretch and start doing some stretching. So um, it's, that's definitely something if you're looking to get your kids into it. Both um, ballet and sports does that. It instills discipline on your kids. So um, that's, that's also a really good idea and another good kind of um, reason to put them in ballet. It's a fine art and a respected art. Um, a lot and a lot of people love ballet and a lot of people are not capable of doing ballet and so they really admire the people who can do it so you'll be able to be like, yeah, I do ballet. And if you start dancing in point, yeah, I do that. I dance on the tips of my toes. So that's what's really cool about it and it's just so well known. Um, there's so many types of forms of art out there that really aren't as people aren't just as familiar with, but everyone knows at least what ballet is. So that's definitely a reason to do it. Alright guys, so that's all. If you have any more suggestions, just comment below. Yay! Dance Collab is going to be back up soon, I hope, because we got a whole new uh, members and they'll just tell us when we start back up. I'm going to assume it's probably in January, but I haven't asked Ashley yet, so I need to. And um, be sure to subscribe to this channel because I'm trying to get to 200 subscribers by Christmas! And that's like... How many days I calculated it in geometry today? It's like 17 days, 18, including today. So, well, then again, this is going to be tomorrow, so it's 17 days, including today. So, um, please, I need about the 500. 200 subscribers! That would make me so happy. That could be y'all's Christmas present to me because you love me just that much. And be sure to follow me on Twitter and like my Facebook. That would make my day as well. I'll see you guys later. Bye!